Thanks. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> you having as much fun as I am? Uh, oh, you guys, I am so excited that we're doing this. You know? Ron Lewis created and directed and choreographed an idea that I had that other people weren't terribly interested in. So here goes. <laughs> All right, now where was I? Thank you. <laughs> Cute. Uh, oh, how pretty. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? <laughs> it's almost magical. Some things are just magical. <laughs> Love. That obligato, that little piece of music was created by my godmother, Kay Thompson. <laughs> For my mother to sing in a movie, right? That was directed by my father when she was five months pregnant with me. So, needless to say, I got to know Kay Thompson very early on. <laughs> and making her my godmother, was the greatest gift my parents ever gave me. I mean, the, the minute that she walked into our house, right, the laughter started. She could make my mother and father laugh harder than anybody in the world. And that laughter would stay with me the rest of my life. Kay was extraordinary. No, a life force. She was a true Renaissance woman. She could do anything, and she did everything, and always better than anybody else. In the 30s, she was an enormous radio star, right? In the 40s, she revolutionized movie musicals. She became the head vocal coach and head vocal arranger for all of MGM. Lena Horne put it most succinctly. She said, Kay Thompson taught me how to sing. <laughs> and she taught everybody, you know, Gene Kelly, June Allison, Fred Astaire, Sinatra, and of course, Mama. <laughs> then, she starred in movies. Do you remember Funny Face? Starring Fred Astaire. Audrey Hepburn and Kay Thompson urging the world to think pink. <laughs> After that, she wrote probably the most famous children's book ever, Eloise, the little girl who lived at the plaza. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, she created a nightclub act for herself. Kay Thompson and the Williams Brothers, right? which was Andy Williams and his brothers. Walter Winchell called it the greatest nightclub act in history. And I saw it. I did. I was two, but I saw it. You know, I was sitting 
on my mother's lap across from my father. And the stage came to about here, right? But all I could see were these marvelous feet and these beautiful arms waving at me. Wait, I'm talking too much. Look, why don't I just try and show you? Come with me. Come with me. The year, 1948. The place, Ciro's Hollywood. The act, Kay Thompson and the Williams Brothers. Blackout! Well, get. Oh. You haven't all met. No. Then there's something that I'd like to do, and that's introduce the boy yo 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 to you. Dick Williams, Bob Williams, Bob Williams, and Andy Williams. <laughs> 